Hi, my name is Matthew and welcome to Fab Lab Fundamentals. Today I will be showing you how to use the multicolor function with the AMS system for the Bamboo X1 Carbon. So first things first, please come take a look at our Bamboo Carbons and make sure that the colors that you want are available. So in this printer we have white, blue, green, and brown. And in this printer we have blue, white, um, black, and purple. So today we'll be using these color choices. Once you're satisfied with the colors, you can take out the micro SD card, grab the adapter, and plug it into the computer. So now you'll grab your file, you can either download your STL with Google Drive or a flash drive. My file is in the download folder. And then you wanna right click your STL and open with Bamboo Studio. And from here, we'll zoom in and we'll scale our piece down. The scale button up here. Once we're satisfied with the size, we're going to add filament. But there should be one already selected, and this is white. We want to add brown, blue, and green. So we'll click on this Add button, which will add different filament and color choices. And we'll click on the color and number two. And we'll, collect, we'll select blue. Press OK. And we'll add another color choice with the plus button. Change it to brown. And we'll add our final color, which is green. Here we will select our object and then click on the paint bucket tool up here. And then from here, there's different options. So the first option is just a circle tool, which is basically a pen tool and you can just color on stuff. But we want to make it neat, so we will and do that and we'll select the fill button. Well, for the fill button to work, you have to make sure that your object has different layer heights and that certain regions are separated. So from here, we are going to try and match this color scheme. So to do that, we're going to select blue and then click on the waves. And I'll click on the stem of the tree. We'll select green. And we'll click on the leaves and the outline of the flowers. There's some brown over here. And then finally, yep, click on blue again for the internal parts of the flower. Now once we are satisfied, we are going to click on the paint bucket tool again. And then this is your now colored 3D printed object. You might be alarmed that there is this piece, but this piece will be automatically generated to help clean the nozzle in between each, every time it switches filament to a different color. So once we are satisfied, we're gonna click on slice plate Click on the down arrow, select export plate, slice file, click on that. And then we're going to click on the Bamboo X1 Carbon SD card. Give our file a name. Click save. From here, we can eject. Grab our micro SD card. Plug it into the bamboo. Click on the files button. Click on our object. And we're gonna make sure that the spool and color choices match with the AMS system. So this is 
small one. So, as you can see on the AMS system, A1 matches with small one, and that is white. So that is correct. And then A4, which is spool 4, is brown, which matches, which is correct. And then A2, which is spool number 2, is blue, and that matches. And finally, A3 is green, which matches with the spool color. Once we are satisfied, we will click on time lapse and we'll press print now. And if a notification pops up, you can just press yes. Close. So now that our printed piece has finished, you can come and take a closer look and you can look at all the different colors. As you can see, I was able to do this because for each color, it's at a different layer height or it's physically separated by a gap. And that is how you use the multicolor filament process with the Bamboo AMS system on the X1 Carbon. Thank you. Now, before you go, please wait for the first layer to finish. And that is how you use the multicolor filament system with the AMS system on the Bamboo X1 Carbon. Thank you.